Suntory began 2021 with a bang, announcing a new limited edition Yamazaki. But does it deserve the hype? Welcome to Kampai Planet, bringing you the world of Japanese drinks direct from the heart of Tokyo. I'm Mac, coming to you from the world-renowned Aloha Whiskey Bar. And today, we're reviewing Suntory Single Malt Whiskey Yamazaki Limited Edition 2021. Back at the start of January, Suntory announced this limited edition Yamazaki alongside a new Hibiki Blossom Harmony limited edition release. And they both went on sale on the 25th of May. Suntory began the limited edition Yamazaki series in 2014 and released a bottle every year until 2017. This release marks Suntory's return to limited edition branding for the first time since 2017. And this release is not a bar only release like Yamazaki 2020. Suntory have not disclosed a lot for this release. I've heard numbers around 30,000 bottles. For context, the Yamazaki 2017 limited edition had a release of 12,000 bottles. Now currently this release is Japan only. Let's hope some of these bottles make it out internationally. But I do know that some of you have your ways and means of securing some regardless. Let's check out the bottle design. Very different from previous limited edition releases. As always, we've got the kanji for Yamazaki, uh, but the label here has this wood grain styling, evoking Mizunara oak. That wood grain motif continues on the box, which has a picture of the Yamazaki distillery at the bottom, which is down in Osaka and was founded in 1923. So what's inside the bottle? Well, Yamazaki limited edition 2021 contains whiskies around the 12 plus year mark, which is a bit of a departure from previous bottles in the series, which contain whiskies in their late teenage years and even beyond. I mentioned that fabled word, Mizanara, when talking about the bottle design. Well, this whiskey has been aged in only virgin Mizanara casks. It's actually the first Yamazaki release to be aged in this way. Fifth generation Suntory chief blender, Jinji Fukuyo, says that they refrain from using other casks, for example, Spanish oak or casks which may bring out a smokier flavor so that nothing interrupted the impact of the virgin Mizunara casks. Apparently there was a lot of trial and error to make sure that the barrel impact impacted maximum deliciousness but that the whiskey was still unmistakably a Yamazaki. In line with standard Yamazaki releases, it's a 700 ml bottle, and it's been bottled at 43% ABV. It's priced at 8,000 yen, which is about 70 US dollars, 60 euros, or 50 British pounds. That compares to, if you can find them at these prices, the standard Yamazaki no age statement, which is 4,000 yen, and Yamazaki 12, which is 9,000 yen a bottle. And for those of you who have a taste now for limited edition Yamazakis, good luck finding the 2017 bottle for anything less than $1,000. So hopefully the contents of the bottle will live up to the wider claim of the series. But first, please help us grow this platform by liking, commenting, sharing these videos, and subscribing for more from Kampai Planet. It means a lot to me, and best of all, it's free unlike Yamazaki 2021. On with the taste test. Let's check out the color. Classic amber, I would say. Looks lovely. Let's check it out on the nose. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm getting some uh, orange, some pineapple, maybe a little bit of citrus as well. There's some woodiness in here as well. You can definitely tell that Mizunara cask has been used. It's got that unmistakable spiciness that Mizunara imparts. So yes, yeah, some nice spice, a bit of nutmeg, a little bit of coconut there as well. Kampai, let's go on the palate. Oh, that is nice. Getting a bit of caramel and a bit of honey at first, a bit of cream too, so a really mellow sweetness, and then bang, that Mizunara spice hits you. Ooh, it's got a very thick mouthfeel, not oily, but definitely coats your mouth. It without a doubt tastes younger than previous limited edition releases. You've got this fascinating balance of sweet and spice that I'm really enjoying. So it imparts this kind of almost like a incense uh, flavor to the drink. Hmm. 
On the finish, you've got some vanilla, a lot of wood, and that spice hitting you again. Um, definitely getting some ginger. I would say medium long, even long. Now, long-term Kampai Planet fans know that on the whole, I try not to review things in isolation. So, how does it compare with the Yamazaki Limited Edition 2017? Let's find out. So first up, there's a big color difference between the two. The Yamazaki 2017 has this much darker color to it with a beautiful iridescence of the light shining through it. On the nose, this is much sweeter. You're looking at things like passion fruit, a lot of honey, uh, caramel, cooked fruits. Yeah, beautiful, baked, almost uh, apple pie. Lovely. Let's go on the palette. Ooh, that is very, very nice. A lot of the characteristics I described on the nose are there, but you've also got this nuttiness and oakiness that joins them on the palette. This is a really fantastic dram. The finish is long, it's warm, it's sweet, and a lot more of these woody notes really starting to come out. So the journey with this dram is fascinating. Starts off very sweet and fruity, finishes very woody, and that journey takes you through a lot of nutty notes on the palate. Head to head? Well, that's a tough one. In the pro column for 2021, you've got the fact that, without a doubt, the dominant flavor is this fabled, sought after, delicious, virgin Mizunara cast that's been allowed to so heavily influence the flavor of this whiskey. Still very balanced though. 2017 is clearly much longer age whiskey with a variety of cast types that have been allowed to exert their influence. It's very, very tough to compare. They're both great. If I really had to choose one, I'd probably go for this. Now that's all well and good. Good luck finding this at something that doesn't need you to remortgage your house. So perhaps a more useful comparison might be the standard Yamazaki 12. The Yamazaki 12 expression comes from whiskies aged in three types of wood, Spanish oak, American oak and Mizunara, Japanese oak. All three of these are 43% ABV. So let's check out the color. The Yama 12 is much darker. It's almost this reflective copper color. Let's go on the nose. A lot more sweetness coming out of the uh, Yamazaki 2021. Let's go on the palette. Oh, as always, Yama 12 is a delightful dram. I never turn it down, but back to the job at hand. Hmm. On the palette though, the big difference is that Mizunara spice, much more dominant versus on the nose. The uh, Yama 2021 is a lot smokier, a lot woodier, and uh, a lot spicier as well. Whereas the spiciness in the Yama 12 is a lot more subtle. The Yama 12 is a lot more complex dram, clearly, the influence of the different barrels used in aging coming to the fore there. On the finish, very interesting, the situation's reversed. Remember I said that on the nose, I thought the uh, Yama 2021 was a little bit sweeter. And on the finish, you've got a lot more sweetness and on the whole, a lot more complexity from your Yama 12. So, head to head, this one's a tough one to call. We all know that Yamazaki 12 is a fantastically balanced flagship whiskey. And what I felt when going head to head with the Yama 2021 was akin to if you get access to a blending set, that I was tasting a component of this in this. Whether you prefer one or the other is going to depend on whether you want the direct influence of the flavor of the virgin Mizunara casks versus the balance and complexity and thought that's gone into the Yamazaki 12. And I say, no las dos? why not both? I hope you've enjoyed our deep dive into the world of Yamazaki Limited Edition 2021. Until next time, kanpai.